Hey man, say man, what's good YouTube? It's your boy Quest. So, aka Quest the Plug, man, I'm back in the banger. I told y'all, man, that could part two of the Larry Legend documentary. I thought I was I thought I was gonna leave y'all hanging. Part two, we we dropping crazy, man. Let's do it. I think we just got to the part where a uh, bird just won rookie of the year over magic. He got uh we I think he was six three votes to three votes. He killed magic in a rookie of the year vote, and that's crazy. I didn't expect that, but please make sure y'all like. Comment, subscribe, man. You know we gotta do it, bro. There's a lot of y'all favorite YouTubers do rags with no waves, bro. So I, every video I gotta do it. Wave check, wave check. Come on, come on. Let's go. Let's do it. Now nah, let me start showing. Let's get into Legend, it, bro. The podcast. Bird was named Rookie of the Year, beating out Magic Johnson for the honor. It's always great to play with great players. It makes the game a lot easier. Uh, the one thing that we did my second year, we picked up Robert Parrish and Kevin McHale. In 1980, when the Boston Celtics traded for Robert Parrish and a draft pick which became Kevin McHale, no one could have imagined the glory and camaraderie to follow. Tiny to Bird. Look at pass. To, Ooh. to support Bird, the Celtics acquired Robert Parrish and drafted Kevin McHale. Honestly, I never thought about how big that Lana was, bro. You got Fox Bird. Street. Mikhail Parrish, all oh, bird 6'10. Mikhail was 6'10, 6'11. Parrish, 7'1, 7'2, 7'. That's a big ass lineup the Celtics used to run, bro. I didn't even think about it like that, bro. They was literally big bodies on the court, bro. But how do you supposed to compete with that? How? The greatest six acquired Robert Parrish and drafted Kevin McHale. Riddlebox could be the greatest GM ever was. Quickly ahead to Bird behind the back move. Yeah, that GM definitely took up. Yes. Kevin McHale's don't come around very often. True. Yeah, and Robert Parrish. And with Bird setting the tone, the Celtics played with furious. Late. Was Larry Bird. Bird's game elevated even further in his second season as he got his NBA legs beneath him. Suffice it to say, there may never be another front line to compare in greatness with the big three of Bird, Parrish, and McHale. Oh, there's Max on the offensive board on the cut to Bird. Reverse layup is good. How did he make that? One? I want to tell you, I didn't think he was going to. And McHale. Oh, there's Max on the offensive board. On the cut to Burks. Reverse layup is good. How did he make that? One? I want to tell you, I didn't think he was going to shoot it. We had a team there when we won in 81. I thought we were going to win five or six in a row. We had that much talent. Boston seemed destined for a title. His first championship, how does he get there? All right, let's see where Quinn goes with it. Larry posts up to the hoop. Oh, my. Yes. God. Championship second year is crazy. Look at the same player. Bird to 6 10. In the playoffs, Bird quieted any concerns about the Celtics' youth and inexperience. 1981. Larry Bird, 24 points, 10 assists, and he just makes it look easy. Sweeping the. in the first round. Larry Bird. Celtics were primed to make a run at history. And one. Larry Bird, unbelievable pass. But Dr. J's Sixers seemed to have the Celtics number. Oh my God. It's crazy that that Sixteen didn't win a chip that year. That's crazy. Seemed to have the Celtics that boy, number. Boy, used to beat Dr. J bad. But look at this. Oh my God, Bird. God damn. 
put you in a room. Bird Celtics found themselves down three games to one. Dodgers A blew a 3 1 lead? No way. It was time to put up or shut up. But that title and their hopes for a new Celtic dynasty are in jeopardy tonight. Down 3-1 to Philadelphia. Any adjustments made from game four to game five? From game five on, the Celtics seemed like a new team. Game five, Larry Bird had basic Ooh. elimination. 32-11-5-3-2. 32 what? 32-11-5-3-2. Damn. Doing that stat sheet. For Bird, impacting the game on both ends was paramount. I'm telling you, bro, to not, to not be athletic, Bird used to get hella rebounds over athletic players. Come on now. Fighting for rebounds. Right. Every time somebody puts down a top five that doesn't have Larry in it, I gotta go. What are we doing? You know, I what do you say? I can't really hear. Put down a top five that doesn't have right. Every time somebody puts down a top five that doesn't have Larry in it. Oh I yeah, facts, 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 facts. Fact. If you don't got Larry Bird in your top five, you're tripping. I think he said top five to seven. Yeah, if you don't got Larry Bird top five to seven, you're tweaking. You either too young, you haven't did your research, or you're just a hater. Larry definitely top. If you don't, if he's not in your top ten at least, bro, you're you're either hating because bro white. But you know people tend to do that. Uh, they underrate him because he white. Underrate him because you haven't did your research on him, haven't watched him, haven't studied his game, went back, looked at his stats, looked at his highlights, or you're just too young and don't even know about bro. Like I had, like I was. Well, I knew about. Him, I just didn't know how good he was. I just didn't look. You see, doing my research, I figured out how good he was. Now he in my top three. Shit, Jordan Brown Bird. Shit. Luka Jokic coming soon. Luka Jokic wouldn't be coming soon in that top five for sure, but that's in about 10 years. So we ain't even gonna talk about that right now. Let's get back into the video. I'm, I'm talking about I go, what are we doing? You know, I think we sleep on him because he wasn't the highlight dunker. He was amazing. Facts, because Bird was dominant in his own way. He won't going out there yamming on people, going out there dropping 50 every game. Bro was impacting the game in all aspects. Defense, scoring. Facilitation, rebound, like anything, bro. Everything he, he was impacting the game, hustling, diving for loose balls, things like that, bro. Just always having an impact on the game. And we were uh, down 3 1, and we won game five in Boston to go 3 2. An incredible atmosphere, electricity, capacity crowd. Game six, he had 25, 16, 4, 2, and 2. Down what do you say? 25, 16, 4, 2, and 2. Damn, bro. Down by 12. They need a rally. Midi. And one thing about it, too, when people... I, I, I remember I did a video. It was like, uh, was, is Bird a better shooter than Curry? And I said, of course, Bird Curry is a better shooter. But, like, I feel like one thing people underrate when it comes to the greatest shooters ever is mid-range. Of course, three-point shot, that means you're a shooter. But, like, you got to take into effect mid-range game... Like stuff like that too. That's that's it's more to shooting than just threes, middies, threes like that. Those both go hand in hand. So I feel like for sure, Bird won the greatest shooter ever because mid ranges he was OD. Three pointers he was OD, but at his time period, it won't three pointers won't heavily emphasize. So you can't really you feel me? You got to go off what was he, the shooting that was heavily emphasized, which is mid ranges, and Bird was dominant at that. Man, shot like fifty percent of his career from uh from the mid range, so which is crazy. Five games decided by I want to say seven points. Late. In that series, so we knew it was going to be nip and tuck all the way to the end. Bird, so let's, so let's talk about this rebound. This is against we got athletic Daryl Dawkins, athletic Dr. J. Let look at this rebound Bird got. I want to say seven points in that series. That's just having like, bro. That's called will, determination. That's quickness. That's quickness. And you see how quick he went up. That like, bro was definitely had a quick first jump. So we knew it was gonna be nip and tuck all the way to the end. And one. Bird goes up, the basket pounds and a foul. Larry Bird. Dr. J with the finger roll. Man, Beautiful. I really Hey, if y'all want that Dr. J documentary, let me know in the comments right now, bro. Please. I'm I'm telling y'all, bro. I'm one of the biggest Dr. J fans there is. He was like one of my first favorite players. Like 
legends back in the day. Like, I I I love Dr. J. No Diddy, but like that's my guy, bro. One of my favorite players ever. Mercedes basketball. Another time. The Celtics try to keep it alive. Tempers were hot. Don't mess with me. Harold Dawkins, bro. The shooting part, but he does the, the workman's part. Look at Larry. Look at Larry dogging everybody. Part. That's big Daryl Dawkins them down there, bro. Larry's still getting rebounds over them, bro. Going over the nigga, come here. Uh, that's, that's why the men are so special. He, he, he plays this game with such total dedication. That one. That's why I love Bird, man. Dawkins and Caldwell Jones, and that'll do it. The game is over. Boston has won. Bro, did he make that? But don't tell me he made that, y'all. Hey, in the comments, let me know if y'all know if he made this or not. I can't tell if he airborne or made it. Oh my god, I think he made that shit. That is crazy, bro. After winning that series. Hey, Dr. J. Blowing a 3 1 lead is crazy. Why, why does don't be talked about this? Don't be talked about, though. Storming back to tie the series. Nigga, Dr. J. Like, Larry had forced the game seven. Back in Boston. And with this victory, Larry Bird, who paced Boston with 25 points and 16 rebounds, could feel a definite shift in momentum. We felt it really shocked him and really uh, tore him apart because now it's 3-3 three three and we're coming back to the garden. And that was just a game. Whoever had the most guts and the most determination was going to win that game. Go back to Boston and there's people. Like, there's the, the like I didn't realize that because I'm, I'm new to Boston. It's my first year being out there. Right? 18 minutes before the game, we went out to warm up. There wasn't an empty seat, and there wasn't one person standing. And That's crazy, bro. And they stood the whole game. It all came down to one game. The Boston Garden is a curious mix, void of modern conveniences, but equipped with a brash personality. The Boston Garden tucked between the Central Artery and the old Madison Hotel. They're down 3-1 in this series. And game 7, 23-11, 5-2. 5 and 2. 5-5 five, five and 2. That's what Bird do, bro. When it's clutch time, close out games, series on the line, nigga, season on the line, Bird gonna do it, bro. He showed why he's the greatest clutch player ever. Let's look at Bird's stats. Larry Bird's stats. 19, 81, Eastern Conference Finals. Larry Bird averaged 27, 13, and 5. Damn. It's just the fact that he getting so many steals and blocks, too. Like, bro, it ain't just scoring. Like, bro, his defense was like that, bro. He's a very underrated defender, man. He need his props, bro. You mentioned Larry Bird. When it comes down to the crunch, he's always there. So far, he's been the outstanding play of the Darryl series. Dawkins. You can't play much better than Larry Bird as well. The 76ers got out to an early lead once again, but Bird willed his team back. He had the ability to lift his game to an even higher level just when his team needed it the most. Play. Rebound. Uh, low. Nothing up. could stop Bird at this point. So off they go to Bird. Isolated with Jay. Spins around him. Oh my god. Yes. Cooking Dr. J. The pass. He was on. And when Bird was on, the Celtics won. He had yeah, rebound. Y'all yeah, know what, bro? That's when Bird gets his rebound. He might be a Carmelo, bro. I know how Melo gets rebound. He's like, get out the way. That's what Bird might be when he gets his board, bro. Give me that. Get out the way. <laughs> oh my God. Bird loved that spin move. Boom. Yeah, Bird, come on, bro. Bird trying to dunk on two athletes down there. Yeah, Bird was a dog, man. He was not scared of nobody, bro. Carried that the about across the finish line. Game is no Making free throws. Clutch play after clutch play. Bird's foul shots not the score at 89. Dawkins goes in, misses. Here comes Bird. Bird rebound. Starting to break. To Larry Bird. Pull up, midi. Domination was attributed Off glass. to Larry Bird. Who virtually will the game in Boston State? The win sent the Boston fans into a frenzy. Here it is. It's over. The Boston Celtics have won it, and they go. Damn.
come back from 3-1 is crazy. I ain't no bird did that before, bro. I don't think Porsche Rivals, I don't remember them saying it was down 3-1, bro. I don't remember that. They come back and win in 5, 6, and 7. A scene unlike any you could ever see today. Tremendous emotion, a great series with great players. You couldn't possibly ask more from basketball. Now Houston's waiting for Boston. That also will be a great series. That was probably the best games I ever played in my life. It was a seven-game series, and every one of them was just full of excitement. Hey, bro, trying to get that bag on the corner selling his the shirts for the championship even start. Break right? of defeat. Bird and the Celtics had overcome a three to one hole and were headed to the NBA Finals. In the finals, the Celtics would face off with the Houston Rockets. Bro, who did the Rockets have at this time, bro? The King wasn't drafted. He was drafted the same year Jordan was drafted. They ain't have Robert Parrish either. I mean, they ain't have uh, Ralph Sampson either. Did they have Ralph Sampson? They had Moses Malone, but who else? Moses Malone. Who they had like Calvin Murphy, people like that. Moses Malone, Murphy. I don't know. Like to cut this to a one-point game. What would they have? Has been out this should be an easy ring. Long. The variety of categories in which he leads his team is evidence of his remarkable all-around skill. Larry Bird. Yeah. his own shot. Bird for uh, Trey Ball. Larry Bird and the Boston Celtics take the lead. 92 91. That was the spark, and Bird took control of the game in a dazzling display. Wait, come on, Birdie. In just his second year, Bird had taken the last place Celtics all the way to the top that's crazy bro you, you don't see it nowadays bro one player changing a team like that y'all seen Wimby get drafted nothing happened to the spurs even lebron he couldn't take the Cavs to the finals his first second year jordan no you don't see that no more bro bird was one of the kind bro his impact on the game will never be seen again bro never be seen again bro and then game six of the finals against moses and houston with the title on the line had 27 13 Damn. and 5. It's a woman chip. You see the tie. Archibald. Henderson. Let me see some bird. Go ahead. Give the bird. Give the bird. Game time. Most snuts player ever, man. Stop playing with Larry Joe. You can have any more ice water in your veins than he's shown in this game. 27 points for Bird. Bird got his first ring. Received two seconds, one, and the world champion, the Boston Celtics. Damn, first ring, second year. That's crazy, because what, Magic won a ring the year before, then Bird get a ring? It's crazy, bro. They was meant to be rivals. It was a tough series. Moses was on a tear all year. You win that first championship, that's, that's very special. For Bird. It felt like just the beginning. For the 14th time, the Celtics have brought the NBA. Hey, the Celtics got hella chips, bro. That's crazy. Championship home to Boston. And thousands of fans mobbed Logan Airport this afternoon to greet the young sports heroes with champagne, beer, and cheers. <laughs> champagne, beer, and cheers. Damn, Bert was young at this time, bro. Even when Bert was young, bro, looked old as hell, bro. Hey, but yeah, that was back in the day. Everybody had bald heads, receding hairlines. Like, bro, everybody looked old. <laughs> they celebrated the title in style. Thousands flooded the streets to cheer the Celtics. Whoever said winning isn't everything, it's the only thing. Apparently, <laughs> had today's citywide celebration in mind. Where estimates of 40 to 50,000 screaming fans showed 50? their appreciation. Bro, even like, bro, sports back then, bro, fans had way more passion for the game, too, bro. I'm going to say that. When we won our first championship, I, I told our team, I said, we got to win at least four or five of these things or we didn't do a job. Damn. Crazy. I don't think they won four or five more. I think they probably won like two more rings after that. I mean, partly due to Bird injured back. You feel me? 
I feel like really injury is the only thing that started sucks from dominating the 80s like how they were supposed to, like how the Lakers did. Sucks so did, did that at a higher rate if Bird was never hurt. I always thought that we left him on the table. Well, I spent about two minutes up in Mayor White's office and all them people up Bird dudes running around asking for autographs. <laughs> now I know why they're on bankrupt. <laughs> After we won the championship in 81, I feel like we had a good enough team where we could start a, a, a destiny and, and win a, a lot of championships. Unfortunately, there for three years, we didn't do much, but Damn. in 84 on, we played pretty well. He was the biggest star in the sport. Uh, and they had a three-year gap where they couldn't do nothing with that team. Crazy. Time to pick up a magazine. There's an article on Larry Bird. I, the one Sports Illustrated comes to mind. It's a living legend. The next season, the Celtics were the best team in the regular season. Today from the spectrum, the Celtics shooting for their 15th win in a row. 28 seconds. Bird. Slap pass to Archibald. Probably with blue off balance. Oh, this is that classic Bird, Bird play. Hey. Because Let's I do it. That if it comes down to the last shot of the game, I should be the one to be able to take it. Of course, Bird taking the last shot. Dale, who else don't take it? had become known as the best closer in the game. Maxwell. Max puts it on the floor. We're down to six. Bird in the corner. Double fake. Oh, my God. Game time. Come on, man. Stop playing with Bird. A killer who thrived in the clutch. He had a quality that went beyond his skills. He was a winner. He was a champion. With the break in the middle, oh my, what is that? Might be one of the craziest tours I've ever seen in my life, bro. What is that? Bird was better than ever in the postseason. Finds Bird. Dirty. If he had a good postseason, how didn't they get another ring? Bird the rebound. Over his head to McHale. Probably making a pass that I can say is a group of people standing in and think about it in your mind and all of a sudden doing it. He had the ability to lift his game to an even higher level just when his team... Birdie, the hey! And that's what defines greatness in any athlete. That's facts, bro. Not just the... being, being able to lift your teammates, so that's why I feel like LeBron, like, he elevated his teammates, the bro. to pile up numbers, but the ability to come through in the clutch... Uh, look at the clutch, though. Look at this shot, bro. Well, that's where we're going to end the video at, man. Make sure y'all like. Comment, subscribe, man. We out.